In our morning rounds, reaching for the future, a North Carolina college student created prosthetic hands for kids. They cost a lot less than regular models. Here's the amazing part. He did it using a 3D printer. Anna Werner shows us how the invention dramatically improved life for one little boy. Ask first grader Holden Mora how his new hand works, and he'll be happy to demonstrate. When I bend my hand in like this, it closes. When I bend it this, it opens. At seven years old, he's become an expert on the workings of this novel device made out of plastic for roughly $20. It's an amazing $20. It's an amazing $20. And normally the materials cost a lot, about like a thousand. He's right, children like Holden, born without hands or fingers, in his case, the fingers on his left hand, often require custom prosthetic replacements costing thousands of dollars. But this inexpensive device was created by a college student using a 3D printer. Builds it layer by layer. Senior Jeff Powell studies biomedical engineering at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He took on the project after learning about Holden from one of his professors. Hey, try that now. He used instructions posted on the internet called the Cyborg Beast, then customized it. The 3D printer builds the parts in under 24 hours. And at the end, you wind up with is this. Yes. Right? Yes. So the way this works is it straps on to Holden's hand and on to the end of his forearm. When he moves his wrist in, the fingers close. When he moves his wrist out, the fingers open. And do that again, do they have grip, grip strength? So oh, they actually do have grip strength. Yes. His goal, for Holden to be able to do things the rest of us take for granted. Nice. To be able to eat dinner while holding you know, a knife and a fork at the same time. Be able to grab onto his scooter, his bike with two hands. Maybe even you know, swing a baseball bat if we get it that strong enough. I don't want him to be limited by the condition that he was, he was born with. So this isn't just about a hand for him, is it? No, no. It's about enabling him to do anything that he wants to do needs to be adjusted, maybe? Holden's parents believe the impact could be even more profound. He's less likely to be underestimated when he has a device like that. So, you know, people won't look at him and be like, oh, well, you can't do that. There are times when, you know, he doesn't necessarily like for kids to ask him about his hand. And because the, press, the 3D printed hand is so cool, I think that gives him just a confidence in talking about his hand, which I love. And the payoff for this amateur designer? When he picked up a cup, you were able to say to yourself, hey, this worked. Yes, yes. That had to be a great moment. Yes. It was nice to see it all pay off. Powell has now started a crowdfunding campaign to raise money so other kids can get the device too. Well, I'm actually really happy because I think it's true that once I get the best hand, they'll make more like it for those kids. And then they'll have the best kind of hand, too. Pretty good grip. 11 more children are already waiting for their new hands. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. This side actually makes it farther. Well, Love it. everything about that right story. Kid, yeah. yes. Everything. And the next thing will be they'll be able to teach the brainwave to decide what the yes. hand should do yeah. to get to that hand. Yeah. From the student to the little boy, once again, North Carolina, which I call Charlie Rose country. So what are they, just smarter than the average bear in North Carolina? you got NC State, Duke, go Heels. <laughs> if I were you, I'd send my kids there. Yes, I'm thinking so.